One of the first factors we're going to talk about today is pH. pH stands for potential of hydrogen and it is a logarithmic scale that goes from 0 to 14. 7 being neutral. So anything that's under a 7 pH is considered to be acidic. Anything that's over a 7 pH is considered to be alkaline. Your blood has to stay alkaline. It's an absolute must. There's two things your body spends its entire day doing. Actually, it spends its entire life doing. One is to regulate your temperature. Your temperature has to be about a 98.6, and if it goes up or down too much, what happens? We die. It's that important. So did you ever think about the fact that if you put, you take a mouthful of ice, that your body immediately has to do some regulating to make sure it doesn't drop your body temperature too low? It, it, we're amazing machines, you know, so your body regulates that temperature. But did we also know or learn in school that the body spends its entire day regulating pH? Well, it's true. And I was never taught that. <clears throat> I mean, we all remember as kids, our mom sticking the thermometer under our tongue. But did she, ever, did she ever put a pH strip on our tongue to test our alkalinity? Well, it's just as important. So your blood maintains about a 7.3 to a 7.4 all the time. Now remember, you have other fluids in your body besides blood. You have your water system, you have your urine, you have your saliva, it's all part of your water system. So the, the other fluids outside of your blood can be extremely acidic. But here's how your body works. When you put something in your mouth, let's say it's a 4 pH. Let's say it's a hamburger and that hamburger is a 4 pH. How does your body bring that hamburger from a 4 up to the 7.3 that your blood has to be. And, and you do realize that the hamburger becomes part of your blood. We, do you, does everybody understand that? When you put something in your mouth, it becomes part of your blood. It gets dissolved, digested, and put throughout your entire system. So that hamburger is a 4 pH. How does your body bring it from 4 up to 7? I'll tell you how. It robs itself. It robs itself. It will take calcium from a knee joint. It will take magnesium from your eye socket. Do we wonder why we're wearing glasses at 30 years old? It will rob from anywhere in the body, and this is called your buffering system. All of us have a buffering system. Without that buffering system, we're dead. Now, the average American diet, and I, I don't even say American anymore because this kind of goes worldwide at this point. We don't eat healthy. The majority of what we put in our mouths are acidic, and that includes our drinking materials and water. We're going to demonstrate the alkalinity of some popular waters here in a second, but I really want to drive this point home because you, you have to understand how important alkalinity is to the body. Now, everybody wakes up in the morning, and you have something called your energy pool for the day. There's a certain amount of energy you have, and that's it. When that energy's gone, it's time to go to bed, you need to rejuvenate, right? So, if your body is spending its day and your energy pool neutralizing all the acids that you're putting in your mouth, why would you expect to be energetic? Do you understand why you're craving soda all the time and coffee all the time? Or you have this crash in the middle of the day? Your body is using all of your energy supplies to buffer the acids that you've been putting in your mouth. I mean, I was guilty of the same thing for decades. It, I was so shocked when I found this information out. And of course, I put it to the test, and my life changed so dramatically, just like yours will. Now, let's take a look at some of these waters. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to add some phenol drops. And if anybody thinks this is, uh, this is skewed or we're doing anything to make the results turn out. Get some of these and try this at home. You'll get the same exact results that you're seeing here. This is our pH color chart. And you're gonna see as I add these drops to the water, the waters are gonna turn a certain color and it's gonna show us where they are on the pH scale. Remember, anything below a seven is acidic. Here's our Fiji water. Here's some smart water, Aquafina. Dansani, Penta water. 
This is distilled water. Even though it says Henry spring water, I emptied the spring water and put distilled water in there. And here's some Sprite. So, with what was just said, let's take a look at these waters. Now we can see, as far as the color chart goes, the one that's the most alkaline happens to be the Fiji water. Look at our smart water is about a 6.6. .6. The Aquafina is about a 5. The Dansani is about a 5. The Penta, I'd say 4.5. The distilled water, 4.5 and the soda, probably a 4.5. Now, we all know that soda is not really good for us. I mean, I don't think anybody out there is under the misconception that soda is a healthy thing to put in your mouth. But let's look at the pH of these waters. They're almost the same as the soda. And especially this one. Do you know that the rich and famous buy these by the case, have them delivered to home? And this says, ultra-purified, energized water. It's proven anti-aging benefits. It has superior hydration. And it's patented process that energizes the water. It is so important to try and offset the acidity that we have in our systems. And one of the easiest, best ways to do it is with water. Now here's some of our 9.5 pH water that just came out of the ionizer. And let's see how this is testing. We'll put this front and center because this is the star of the show. And by the way, if you think it matters how many drops I add, it doesn't. Like I say, duplicate this at home if you think there's anything hokey going on here. Now, isn't this amazing? We have a water here that is more alkaline than your blood. Now, this is a change for most of us because if you think about it, what are you putting in your mouth on a daily basis that's alkaline? So as we can see here that most of these bottled waters are not only acidic, but they're extremely acidic. And you remember earlier I said the logarithmic scale for the pH. This is like the earthquake scale. And so if you go up one point, it's not one point. It's 10 times more powerful with one point. So here's a great example. Here we have the Penta water, which measures out at about a 5 or, or a 4.5. So to go from this... Just to, just to a 5.5 is times 10. So it's 10 times more acidic or alkaline with one point. If you go two points, that's 10 times 10. So if you go from a 5 to a 7 pH, you have a liquid that's now 100 times more alkaline than the, than the 5. So this is not, these are not small issues here. This water is a hundred times more acidic than just base water or neutral water. We're not even talking about alkaline water. This is a hundred times more acidic than just base. Now, your blood has to stay at 7.3. So if you're putting something that's a hundred times more acidic than your blood, how much energy does your body need to neutralize all that acid? And would it take the majority of your energy pool to neutralize that acid? And of course, we can see the star of the show here, which is the Chanson ionized alkaline water, is around a 9.5 pH. And with the machines, we can make any kind of pH that we want. So you have a water now that is actually almost 100 times more alkaline than base. Base being 7, neutral on the pH scale. So it's, it's really incredible. The more you think about this, the more you start to realize, you know, good health is not some science fiction movie of the future. It's actually something that we can start to attain immediately. Now, I almost left out a really popular water, and that's Orange County tap water, or wherever you may live, your tap water. Let's just see how the tap water turns out on the pH scale. Wow, look at that. We got Fiji water on tap here in Orange County, California. Free Fiji water, all you can drink. And before you get too excited, tap water is not like a mountain spring water. It has chemicals added to it. It has quite a few chemicals added to it, actually, and they're fe federally regulated to be there. They put chemicals to up the pH because the pH has to be neutral or more. 
and they put chemicals in to kill bacteria and funguses like they put chlorine. The good news is there's a way to treat that water in your own home to get rid of all those chemicals and perfect the water again. But you could see the point here. Tap water is actually turns out to be more alkaline than most bottled water. So right now we're going to demonstrate how this water affects your body. And I want you to picture these waters here as your internal fluid system. And I want you to see what happens when we add alkalinity to that internal fluid system. So here's some chance in ionized water. And I'm not going to test the Fiji because that's already alkaline. But let's do some smart water. I'm just going to move this out of the way, our great tap water there. And we'll move our chance in water out of the way. And now here comes the soda. Wow, look at that. Look at that. A full glass and I still can't change the color of the soda. If you come away with anything from this, know that soda needs to go from your life. Soda is so acidic. Even though we only got a yellow on the color, if I got a digital pH meter, we can see soda being as low as a two and a half pH. Can you imagine your blood has to be 7.3 to 7.4 and you're putting something in your mouth that's two or a three pH, thousand times or more acidic than neutral. Now, here we have our Sprite. I wanna show you what happens when you put just a sip of soda into your body. Now you saw how powerfully the chance in ionized water made these acidic liquids alkaline, which is what happens in your body. But watch what happens when we take a sip of soda. And I'm being careful not to pour much more than a sip in any of these. Are you starting to have an awakening here? I mean, this is what's going on in your body on a daily basis. And I used to drink five or six of these every day. Matter of fact, this is only a 20 ounce. I used to drink the 32 ounces from 7-Eleven, the big gulps. Can you imagine that our kids, a little 100 pound body or less, putting 32 ounces of a liquid that is so acidic, it literally acidifies the entire system? It's really sad when we think about the state of our health. But the good news is, we have this fantastic ionized water that can turn the internal situation of the body around. Let's move on to the next segment of our testing.